Jay Thomas. Would you mind repeating that, Jay? This, this, this is the Jay Thomas Show. Out 101. In a few minutes, um, he's uh, done everything uh, you can do uh, in broadcasting. Uh, blind since birth, Tommy Edison. I guess that means his name is Thomas Edison, right, Garrett? Correct. Uh, radio professional for over 20 years. Um, as a, he's a traffic, a blind traffic reporter. I People must ask him, how, what is, it's all about listening, he says. Well, so why don't they just have the DJ listen, and then he announces. Well, the, he listens right. to, like, the the uh, police scanners and mm-hmm. and stuff like that, I guess, to figure out where the traffic's going to be. Mm-hmm. He goes um, way, way back, Jay. Uh, two years he goes ago. way, way back to Dan Ingram. Tommy Edison Day for the service that he's provided throughout Connecticut. And now he is a blind movie reviewer. And he's only done uh, one before this. And then today, uh, his second review. And... Um, he goes to the movie theater and he just listens to the acting, right? Correct. How does he... He must miss a lot of the movie because there's quiet times when people are creeping around. He must be... Well, I mean, it must only go to movies where the uh, there can't be any, like... Like 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 2001, The Space Odyssey. He could never review that, right? He wouldn't know what was going on. Well, he says he, in this one he thought the yeah. movie was over because it was, I guess hour passed and uh, people started clapping right but then he realized like so his friend was with him and had to tell him that it wasn't over well i heard he pisses people off too in, in uh, <laughs> subtitle flicks he's standing in front of the screen <laughs> feel know, putting like, his yeah. hand up yeah. trying They're to like, feel it asshole move we're trying right. to read the fucking thing let's go to tommy edison uh, go to blindfilmcritic.com. Uh, Tommy, are, are, is your real name Thomas Edison? Yeah, can you imagine? Good morning, Hello. Tommy Edison. Tommy. What? What's going on? What's going I looked on, uh, over this, this sheet, and yeah. it says... Yeah, it's higher the weather. Wait, wait, back to Dan Ingram. That's right. That's, that's right. I'm, uh, Jay, I'm, I'm talking to a legend here, the great Jay Thomas, everybody. The great Jay Thomas. Now, Tom, Do how you did remember we... remember right Herb on. Oscar <laughs> Anderson? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my father used to listen to Herb Oscar Anderson. Oh, Herb Oscar yeah. Anderson was really, really great. Even mm. Joe O'Brien mm. and right. Benny. All right, Jesus. <laughs> Tommy, Harry you're... Harrison. By the way, that's our weatherman. Yeah, it's our weatherman. Our, he's so... Ex- and by the way, um, <laughs> da- uh, uh, Cousin Brucey's to- studio is right across from us right now. Oh, okay. And we can actually see from where we're, we're sitting... Cousin Brucey is actually petting, uh, grooming his toupee before he goes, before oh, he goes on nice, the air. everybody. Uh, now, Tommy, the... you're, you're blind from birth, so you've never never seen anything. Correct. How do you do the traffic again, the blind traffic? You know, I'll tell you what, there's not much to see. If you came to my office, there's no windows, there's nothing, right? It's just, you know, it's a little radio studio. You guys know what it is. Well, you're blind. Yeah, right. So it's all <laughs> easy. But it's all, well, uh, it's, it's all, you know, it's all people calling in and stuff. It's all cops on scanners and stuff. That's that's how I get my information. It's great. Mm-hmm. And then you, and then they go to you and they go, uh, uh, Tommy, and then, and uh, there's no... Um, no script, no nothing. I, no I, nothing. I, I, no, I don't write down a thing. I just memorize it all. Right. Now, the movie review thing, uh-huh. when did you decide to start being the blind movie critic? You know what? About a week ago Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't believe we got you on the air as quickly. What's the first movie that you reviewed? Wait, uh, Scream 4 was the first one that we did. Oh, okay. boy. Now, you, <laughs> you go to the movie theater, or you just sit with your own screener? What, are you kidding me? No, I went to, I paid the full 11 bucks. You go in, yep. and everybody's either giggling or laughing or clapping or yep. whatever. And I don't and know what's going on. I heard it's really bloody. Is that true? I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. How's Courtney Cox? She's still hot. Does she have a nice ass in this? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, it's just you know, funny. I think I know the program director for 99.9 <laughs> 9 FM. All right. His name is Sean Kennelly. Sean Kennelly. 
Halloween. Who's the what? program director? Ira, no one cares who the program the director drops is. names of people nobody gives a shit 99. about. 99.6. <laughs> now, now, look. You reviewed it. What's, uh, what do you give? Do you give th- uh, uh, thumbs? What do you give? Uh, no, I, thought, I thought eyes open would be fun, right? <laughs> you put eyeballs. Yeah. How many eyeballs did you give? Uh, uh, what's the top? Four? It's four eyes. Yeah, sure, because people with glasses, right? Four eyes, right? So, right. so what, did you, what did you give? Um, right in uh, the middle. Two eyes open for screen. Two screen. eyes open. Mm-hmm. But, but the thing is, is that when it's quiet on the screen and... And there's some, well, a film is, is of course moving pictures, Correct. right? So it's, it's made for the sighted and there are things that happen. <laughs> Does someone whisper to you? They're all walking quietly down the hall. Do they do that? How do, no. how do, you, how do you know what's happening? It's you know, so annoying. I, I thought it'd be more fun to not do it for the, for these ones because, you know, then you get a real taste of what the movie's like for me. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm just hanging out watching, like, for example, Crash was a movie that, you re, for me, I needed somebody to say, all right, now here we're going back to this part again, right? And then this mm-hmm. guy, you know what I mean? There's a lot yeah. of switching around in Crash, but it's a great film. But alone, I don't think I'd ever be able to follow it or enjoy it. The Matrix is another one of those. Do you ever, just to fuck with people, you ever just turn sideways and stare at the side of the wall through the whole movie? <laughs> <laughs> just, Can you imagine you're sitting behind a guy uh, who's looking who's looking to no, the left for no, how about this? minutes? You're He's like, faced in the other direction yeah, completely, just yeah. staring. He's staring at you. you. He's staring at you, though. Hey, yeah. uh, listen, here's my idea. All Go right, on. Go on. hear me out. And, and I do stand-up comedy, so I yeah. take everything with yeah. a grain of salt. Uh-oh. Right. You and Roger Ebert do a movie review show. <laughs> I mean that that's something no one will fucking change a channel on ever. Ever. Now wait and, a minute. And you don't have to see Ebert, you know, so you won't get freaked out. Yeah, but out. you know what? The Ebert thing, by the way, Tommy Edison is here at radio for 20 years, uh award winner there in Connecticut. Uh now go to blindfilmcritic.com. Now, Roger Ebert uh who can't speak and his yeah. mouth is sewn shut or whatever. Mhm. He is now um, a chef. I don't know if you know this or not. No, I didn't know that. He is a chef now, and and, and may lightning come through the fucking building and <laughs> kill Ira. This is the truth. He can't taste anything. Wow. So he cooks. He can't eat anything. He can only eat through a tube. Right. Mm-hmm. And he's got the wife there, and they had a special about him cooking, and he can't taste anything. He can't sip anything nothing and when he served the food everybody was going oh god this is delicious i'm thinking oh bullshit bullshit <laughs> he can't even tell you whether it's you know and you were sitting in a movie theater yep. and and so um uh, uh what kind of hits are you getting on blindmoviecritic.com we've done I mean, we've gotten a lot of attention for it. I was on uh, I was on the Church of Laszlo show this week in Kansas City. I was also NBC LA. I was on their website this week. Uh, they came to do some local television here yesterday. It's, right. I mean, it's I mean, it's pretty. I don't know. People seem pretty engaged by the whole thing. You know what I mean? It's, well, what movie this weekend? What's coming out today? Um, today you have a choice. That there's some um, African Cats as an animated thing that's uh, voiced. I forget who the hell voices it. Um, Medea, the the new Tyler Perry thing is out. And, you know what? You should check. Can it I out? tell you? right now both of those are pieces of shit i haven't seen them yet yep. go see the elephants need water yep, with water reese w- yeah that, that. yeah, Fuck that. yeah. you want to see a great flick check what? this movie out it's got a really hot chick in it it's called it? precious <laughs> and it's got a smoking hot chick in it just take my word <laughs> take my word on it man Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Who did we have that was blind on the afternoon show garrett this week did we have a blind guy on oh Wait a minute. <laughs> and, we, and we saw a picture of his family and the whole thing. And yes, we... uh, blind DJ from <laughs> oh, yeah. Kentucky or something. Can- maybe Kansas. I Can- don't know. Yeah, we had a b- blind DJ blind DJ on. You know. Jay didn't believe he was blind at first. And then yeah. we saw his wife. And then we yeah, saw his wife. Right. And then we realized yeah. this guy <laughs> now, can't Tommy, see him. Now, are you married, thing. Tommy? Are you with a family? No, oh. no, 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 no. Single. Oh, nope. you're single. Yeah, I've never been married, no kids. Wow. Do you meet many women? Yeah, you know, I... You know, I, I but they I, have to hit on you. I mean, you know, they'd have to rub you, rub your your balls and stuff and let you know they wanted to do something, right? Well, 
you know, it, the interesting thing is, like, you guys go into a bar and stuff, and you see a girl, and you're like, oh, I'm going to go talk to her. Watch this. You know, right. but for me, I can't do that. But, if there, like, if there's an interesting conversation around me or something like that, I can participate in it that, you know. Yeah, and, but you right. get to touch them right off the bat. We have to we have to buy a couple drinks, you know, have a conversation, listen to what their fucking goals are. Mm. You right away. Well, fingers in the face. Boom. Here's what we would do. We you go in, you put your hand on my shoulder, and and I walk in, and there's a woman at the at the uh, the bar, and I I would sit next to her, put you down there, and go, hey, I'm sorry, uh, my friend's blind. Could you watch him for a few minutes? I'm going to the bathroom, and then. <laughs> Do you, you do crack. you actually tie him to the bar? <laughs> no, no, no. You just get you know, and then the woman, you know, does. Now, now you have incredible a uh, sense of smell and hearing and touch and everything what? because of your blindness. How's that? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you walked right into it. Uh, no. Jesus you, Christ. <laughs> you know what? The no? the asshole blind guy. Oh, come on, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. No, I honestly though I don't think that my other senses are any better than yours, and I think that like if one of you guys lost your sight today, you'd be amazed at the things you could hear, smell, and touch. And right. to, re, I really believe that. I, well, so, you know, now um, uh, let's go to Sonny of San Antonio. Uh, Sonny, we have the blind film critic Tommy Edison. His his newest. Um, you have you watched the film yet, or you're going to just uh, put it on? Uh, post it today. Your your review. Tommy. No, we're gonna we're gonna watch it this morning, and we're gonna post it later on today. I'll go to blindfilmcritic.com. Uh, yes, Sonny of San Antonio. Go ahead. Yes, I wanted to, I wanted to ask this guy if uh, if anybody's done a Rocky Dennis and uh, explain colors to him. Explain colors to him. You know, uh, here's how would you? All right, Sonny, explain red to him. Yeah, go Sonny. ahead, Sonny. Red? Sonny, go ahead. Uh, yeah, red. Yeah. Uh, oh, like on the movie, he uh, explains to him like something's hot. And it's like turns into red. Yeah, but like, how does that transfer? How does that transmit what to the sweater, doesn't. for example? It doesn't. I don't know. I'm just all from the movie. Hey, Sonny, let me ask you a question. <laughs> just for fun, explain to a deaf person what the ocean sounds like, <laughs> so that they can get it. Right? Yeah. But that's it sounds like color. the color blue. It, you know, <laughs> yeah, the color blue. <laughs> was, uh, the sky. That yeah. wasn't bad. That was, that was all right. Bad thank you, Sonny. Hey, <laughs> so, my yeah, guy. Oh, Jesus. I right. don't believe you're blind. How really? many fingers am I holding up? On one hand, six. <laughs> that is right. You guessed it. All right. <laughs> All right. So now, so Tommy, the 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 whole the the reason you're doing the blind film critic is is what. You know, just to show a different perspective, a different point of view about films. You know, because I'm a, I'm a great fan of them. I, you know, I've always liked movies and stuff, <laughs> and um. We just came up with this idea, and I said, you know, we ought to do this someday. And my partner Ben goes, well, why don't we do it now? And you know, we went over to the computer. Who's your you partner? Gotta branch out. You got to do your, like blind your partner's traffic. name is Bingo. My partner Bingo. No, Ben. Ben. Oh, Ben. Bingo. So you're gay? No, no. He's the guy that he shot it and directed it. I don't care if you're gay. I just I'm trying to figure well, your. No, 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 no. I'm quite straight. Thank you very much. And so Ben it films the blind guy watching the movie. No, we can't. No, we can't shoot in the theater. But uh, we go. You know, we went back to my house and set up cameras and stuff and shot it. Yeah. And right. then you know, so it was a midnight showing last Thursday night. So that it was a rock and roll night. We went to the film, came back here, shot the review, and then I went off to work for five o'clock in the morning. It was on the radio. At you got to branch out and do like blind traffic cop. Uh, blind pizza delivery guy, blind, uh, just try a bunch of shit. Just, just go nuts. Just do it. Um, I don't know what, what movie you were watching, but it said, um, one of your quotes is, I have no idea what happened in the last 20 minutes of this movie. There were a couple of times where the audience clapped. You thought the movie was over, then yep. more things uh, kept happening. Um, they were clapping at some activity on the screen, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's Scream 4. That was the end of Scream 4. I have no, I, to this day, I don't know what happened. <laughs> so you have no idea how the movie ended? Nope. <laughs> I have vision. I saw the end. I still don't and know what happened. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there are people that happened. saw it and wish they were struck blind. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that out there to you. <laughs> nice so. one. Very good. Well, Tommy, Tommy Edison, uh, good uh, luck. Before yeah. you hang up on us, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would like to be a traffic reporter. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. How do I go along with it? Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> I don't know. I know. So 46th let me stuff, Street but... is all backed up using different streets. <laughs> That's there perfect. you go. Well, that's you unbelievable, mind? isn't it? It's unreal. Tommy, can yes. you help me this yeah. weekend? Yeah. Listen for Easter eggs. <laughs> all right. New England uh, Thruway is all backed up. All right. Uh, <laughs> go to blindfilmcritic.com. Tommy Edison. Uh, thank you very much, Tom. Hey, it's thank nice you. to be on your show, man. I'm talking to a legend. Thank you very much. Yes, oh, I please. Know. I'm not uh, a legend, but stop thank it. you. Stop it. Pleasure stop meeting it. you, Tommy. Right, the so legend fun. will return. <laughs> Humans, for the most part, don't have a clue. Jade Thomas. What's the matter? Don't you like to talk anymore? Formerly portraying a hockey player on Shears and currently portraying a radio host. He hasn't been able to remember a line for the last 10 years. Howard 101.